Hello everybody, welcome back to the wonderful world of Aluna. Standing right outside of the farmer's hut here. Looks like some of the berries have ripened. Um, but you know what? I don't think the farmer has a chest to store any of his berries in. Doesn't have a bed to sleep in. All in all, this guy's really got a tough life. He doesn't even have a wooden entry to his home. But, oh well, he'll have to deal with it for a little while as we have a few other things on the menu for today. Um, excuse me, Mr. Wolf, I would like to get in here. Thank you very much. Um, let me see here. Blah, 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 blah. I forget what wood I used for his floor. Did he have wooden planks? I think so. I hope that's what it was. If not, um, yeah, sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. Let's run back there. Hopefully that's not a monster. Oh, but it is. It is only a dirt monster, though. I think we can outrun him. I've been working on my running skills here. I actually haven't at all. Alright, so let's see. That looks like the right dirt to me. Uh, yipes! Wow, I didn't think he was going to follow me all the way. Looks like the bear is taking care of him though. Or maybe he's taking care of the bear? Now he's dying. He's fighting and losing battle. There we go. Well, just to play it safe, I'm going to close the door. I did not realize that my inventory was full of all this other stuff in my crafting space. So I can't make a chest now, anyways. Arr! I don't even know I have all these bones. I don't know what they're good for. Fertilizer or something, maybe? Either way, I don't need them. I don't need the moss. I don't need a pine tree root. It's close. I don't need the grass. What else do I have here I don't need? Twig can be turned into something else. You know, I'm gonna throw out this chalk powder. I don't think it can be used for anything anyway. And if it can, oh well. Alright, so the farmer now has a chest in which to store goodies. There's a little zombie trying to come in. Sorry, this house is for humans only. I know, I know. How rude of me. The ruler of this small plot of land to grant exclusive, exclusive, exclusivity? Exclusivity? Is that how it's pronounced? To humans, but... Sorry, I'm just kind of partial to people, you know? Alright. So here's the big excavation site. Hard to excavate in the dark. Tell me about it. Really not the best. Oh boy, and there's some monster around here somewhere. But I don't know where. Or maybe not. I don't know. That sounded like a monster to me. Ah! Okay, I guess there was a monster. And he's dead. Oh, I was going to say my inventory is full and I can't pick that up. But I guess I had space for it. That's peculiar. Why would I have saved space for that? But nothing else. Oh well, we will never know. The mysterious workings of the human brain. Wow. This is a fast digging tool. Love it. Now it probably would be wise. Yep. That's all the dirt I can hold. Beautiful. 
Well, I accidentally cleared a few spots here where I didn't mean to do. So I should probably fill those back in with dirt. And yeah, that really needs to be something I do in the daylight. I gotta take all the trees down first, and then the grass can follow. Dirt can follow, rather. I don't think there's any low spots. Well, except for this big area here. But I honestly don't know. Like, the church is going to cover some of this. And where the church goes, I'm putting a wood floor in. But I guess... Ah. I wanted to kill that. And I can't pick it up anyways. And I think that may have been a hole going to the water below. So I'm just filling just to use dirt. And pretty much to waste time. And that's dumb. Why do all these animals want to be where I am? I don't get it. No, there's a whole world you can go hang out in. Why do you think you have to be where I am at? Okay. These critters are being rude. So, we're gonna go work on the little garden here. I guess it doesn't need weeds anymore. Because there's a whole farm field for wheat. So we can dig this wheat up. Except, of course, I don't have space to store the weeds. Because, well, you know, why would I have space to store anything? Ugh. Too much junk, and I don't even think I have any chests around here that I can just dump the stuff off in. I may be able to dump some stuff on the smithy. None of it really even makes sense to go in there. Uh, let me take a look in my... Oh, hey! It grew! Woohoo! Good. I'll have to chop that down and try to get some more saplings from it. But that's after we... This is mostly full already anyways. Oh, I can put that in there. I can put the hide in there. I don't take any space. That's what I've got. Okay. Time to take down that tree. I'm hoping I get like three or four saplings from it. That'd be really nice. I'm not counting on it though. But at least it does give me some other woods to use. And that's kind of the big thing. Ah, oh, beautiful. Two saplings. I will take those. I will take them and guard them with my life. Ooh, ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Any more? Any? Four ain't bad though. That's not a bad haul. I know it's kind of unorthodox place for planting trees just in the middle of anything, but you know what? Sometimes you just really need to get those trees planted as quickly as possible. Excavating this is going to take forever. So I think a lot of it's going to be done off video. Because it's going to be so boring. It's like taking out all these trees. Literally, every tree you see in this space needs to go out. And that's not going to be fun either. And no one's going to want to watch it. What I need to do is get some friends to help clear this area. But in order to do that, I think I really need a travel net in the spawn travel center for people to get out here. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do that. So I need another friend who can tell me how to set that up. Firstly, uh, I'm going to need another travel net, which of course I don't have. Um, what I 
do you have is glass. Let me run over here and see what I have. I have the iron, steel rather. I have some glass, not enough, but I do have some. I may actually have some sitting in one of these furnaces. Nope. Um, oh, I don't have a craft guide in here. Well, it's glass and a meese block and iron. So, I just need to find some more meese, I guess. Because I don't have any. And this poor bear is stuck in the ground. So I'm going to kill him to get him unstuck. And I guess I'll steal the eggs, because you know they're edible, and uh, I might want to eat them at some point. But they're not cooked, so I'm going to throw them in the, the blacksmith's furnace here. He won't mind. He hasn't even moved in yet, so he really can't complain about anything. I need so much more meat than that. But I need to clear all of this junk out of my inventory and only bring along the bare essentials when I go down to the mines. So let's go drop this stuff off in the warehouse and be on our way. Let's see here. What do I have? Do I have any dirt? Yep, I have dirt to get rid of. I have gravel to get rid of. I don't have any cobble on me, surprisingly enough. Sand? I know I have snow, but not sand. I have wood, I have birch, I have beech. Wood. Yeah, that would be this. And that. Douglas fir and willow. Is it just Doug fir or willow? No. I, do have, I could have sworn I had one for pine. Yeah, I do. Oh, right. Corn, orange seeds. Pumpkin, apple, flint, rhubarb. Pumpkin. Hey, I do have a spot for pumpkin. What do you know? I have a thing for rhubarb, too. Papyrus. Dyes. Berries. Ah. Uh, no, I don't have any of those. Pumpkin. Eggs. Actually, I just cooked all the eggs. Uh, I got raw potato. Which looks totally different. But whatever. Whatever. Alright. Let's take a quick peek in here. What's in here? Anything that could be of value to me? Not really, but I can and will throw all of that stuff in there. Uh, I'll keep the foods with me because food's good to have when you're journeying on a, uh, you know, expedition. And we're just going to go ahead and go to spawn and then go out and do some exploring in through the travel center here hopefully there's no monsters in here to kill me this time around oh hey there's some available slots here that's all i need then sweet okay i just need to find the biome network I think this is what I want. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Okay, that's not really what I wanted at all. I thought that would take me to caves or something. Spleef came in. Oh, here we go. Spawn and travel center. So, spawn house. No, it's really no good. Dragon lair? Sure. Oh wait, is this... This is glass on top of this. Oh. Phew! That makes me feel a little safer. Um. Whoa. Whoa. This may be just what I'm looking for. Sword in hand. I go out looking for things to conquer. 
Actually, I'm not looking for things to conquer. I'm looking for some place that I can actually just get to the underground. A skull. Well, that's... Ooh. Oh, you have to be kidding me. How did I even die? Nothing hit me. Well, let's go back to the dragon's lair. Um, that was here. And I went this way. Excuse me, Mr. Bear. I don't know if I could have gotten here the other way around, but... Then we went this way. And we went down there. Then it was this path. And I think... Yeah, this is better. I can use my underground radar. And we just... What?! How am I dying?! There's literally nothing there that could be killing me. That's so confusing. Dragon Slayer, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna try this way. So I think this connects. Yep. Uh, probably not any faster at all though, but it did connect. And I just want to know, what is there possibly that can be insta-killing me like this? Look, I literally took a turn. And was dead. Wait, was I going up the stairs? That doesn't matter if I was or not. I want my first set of bones. Uh, that's not the right path. I think I did want to go up those stairs. So I don't remember this. Where is that stairway? I need to take the stairs. Yeah, there was that weird skull there. Remember that. Okay, that's the wrong skull. Oh, wait. There we go. Let's get out of there. Okay. Let's don the armor. Because... That's why I have it, after all. You know. And, um... Wait, is this a stone sword? Oh, boy. I have a stone sword. That's really not the brightest. But... It's going to have to do. Okay, I feel like I've seen a stairway. There we go. I don't know where it goes to, but we're going to find out. It gets pretty dark. A furnace. And it looks like just a big platform. And a big drop off. Well, that's great. It's actually not great at all. See, I need a way to get down further than this. Okay, well, let's go back to spawn and try a different location. I mean, that was a cool spot. But there just really wasn't an easy way to get to anything I wanted to get to. Stations must be named Travel. Outer Row. Right. Personal Nets. Yeah, so I can put one in. I just need to get it. Oh, wait. Somebody had a market? An underground market, too. What kind of goodies you selling here, man? Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, they want stones? Well. It 
It's not quite what I was looking for. Um... I guess we could go to... Ooh, Public Mine. Hey. Let's try that. Because that sounds like a good place to go mining. Here we go. Rules. Only dig in the underground tunnels. Don't build here just for mining. A miner's life is hard. Never surrender. Well, where's... Oh, yeah! I remember this. I was here before. It's a really nice mine, actually. We've got a nice stairway going down. And then... Other stairways and ramps and stuff. and That's kind of just a big flat mine. Let's run in here. I imagine... Oh, it kind of just dead ends, actually. Someone's got a path going off this way, though. And it looks like it runs into some tunnel. And a cavern. Which is good. Oh. Sorry, buddy, but you need to die. Okay. Come on. I can't afford to die myself. So you're going to have to be the one to go. Uh, I'll grab it, but I don't need it. I'm looking for Mies. Oh yeah, this is what we want. A nice dark hole. With gravel? Not interested in the gravel. Although there is a lot of it. Someone's been in here, which doesn't bother me at all. I mean, there's always more stuff to be left. I just need to figure out. Ah ha ha. How to get down is the only question. How to defeat that guy is the actual question. Come on, bro. Come at me. I've got to catch him in a corner. If he actually came at me... Oh, boy. Ooh. I think that's gold. I don't think I want to take that jump. I just kind of wanted to get rid of the monster. But he didn't play into my trap. Oh, come on. There we go. I can hit him and he can't hit me. See, to defeat these guys... You just need to be smarter. And, uh... Then it's all yours. Well, and it doesn't always work that well, but... That's the gist of it. You know the old saying, work smarter, not harder. It applies to video games, too. Believe it or not. All you have to do... Is outthink the AI. And if they can't figure out how to get you, well, then you're golden. Okay, somebody was obviously down here because there's a furnace placed. There's also some iron in the wall here, which I need, actually. Oh boy. Dungeon Master. And a bacon monster. I call them bacon monsters because they look like raw bacon. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be. Ah, a little mouse. Or a rat. 
Sorry, fella. You need to die. Why is he not shooting? Odd. If you go on a diagonal, dungeon masters can't shoot you. Well, it's actually not true at all. But, uh, don't run away from them in straight lines. Is really the the lesson. Because that makes it really easy to shoot. It's actually the same for anything. If there's somebody trying to shoot you, in a video game or real life, I guess, you want to zigzag back and forth. Because it makes it more difficult for them to get a good sight on you. Just, you know, one of those pro tips that might save your life. Uh, I was going to do something. Build the furnace so I can make a steel sword. It's not worth it. However, I will go ahead and craft these guys into one of these guys. I'm so close. I'm not close at all. However, this mine system is quite impressive, actually. I love these kind of mines where you can just run through and just grab all these ores because they're all exposed due to natural map gen. Unfortunately, uh, the ones I need, I don't think I'm low enough for. I think that's why I'm not finding any mees down here. This looks very familiar, like I went on this before, but maybe not. Kind of just ends here. Well, good a place as any to keep going deeper, right? Uh, actually, probably not. Because looking at the radar, there's really nothing in front of me here. And the radar doesn't lie when it comes to caves. So, it's probably a bad place to mine to try to find a cave. Um, ooh. Is this meese? Or is this gold? That was gold. I mean, gold's handy too. And I just made this walkway very difficult to pass. That was probably not smart. Let's try this path. Does it have any goodies? Um, kind of loops back on itself. That's weird. I'm totally lost right now, but that's okay. Nah, just a rat. I really don't want to be going up though. I should be going down. <laughs> this mine goes this way. Ooh. Stone monster. Or a mummy. Yeah, I thought... There we go. I thought axes were, or pickaxes were supposed to kill him faster, but maybe not. That's all that healed? Well, that's disappointing. I don't even think I can eat the corn because it's not cooked. This is interesting. Almost like it was full of ores and someone grabbed the ores out. Which I totally don't blame them for doing, because that's what I would have done. Pretty sure. Okay, well, scratch that. So I was pretty sure he couldn't get me. But obviously he could. He didn't do a very good job, though. Is I survive? Is that a wedge of cheese? 
could that cheese possibly be any good? I don't know how long it's been sitting out here. Okay, I just picked cheese up off the ground. That probably makes me a really gross person, but... Desperate times call for desperate measures. You know? This is such a weird... Like, is this... Somebody's mine? Is this somebody's mining method? I'm just doing weird squares? I mean, it kind of looks like it, because they got a... Impossible to get to stairway. And a furnace up there. Well, this path... Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. Ooh! Let's avoid him. If possible. Nope. He wants a piece of me. Oh boy, drawing dungeon master. He saw me. Time to run back this way. Ooh, hey, I hadn't seen this. <laughs> I guess it's doable. Um someone just made a a deep pit to fall down into. doesn't have much in it other than actually no way of getting out um, but that's okay that's what the spawn command is for or home you know that's why you set your home location Ooh, diamonds nice I should actually make a diamond sword, honestly. I'll have everything I need to do it. Um, and I think I need to make little little rest areas on the jump down. Because otherwise it's just a big long hole that you fall and die in. Oh. Well, that's no good. We can make it here and how around that so you'll kind of can you shift to land on this and then uh we'll continue it here I don't know it kind of seems like this is what the original miner was doing to some extent like make a hole going down. Oh no. Do you have any iron on me? Lumps, but not in stone form. Fortunately, I do have 85 sticks, so no shortages there. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to the Stone Age, where we mined with stone picks. Because we broke our iron picks and didn't have a furnace on us and we're too lazy to build a new one with materials that we already had in our inventory it literally would not have taken any extra time because i had a pick on me or i had a cobble on me rather that could be used but nope can't do that that'd be too easy all right, well, um, I think I'm going to put a torch in this pocket here, and I'm going to, this stone pickaxe is too slow. So we'll make a furnace, and you know what, let's go ahead and grab that, and I guess this, because it's there. And we'll put the furnace here. And I'll just leave it. Whatever. Put some coal in there. 
Just so I can make a new iron picket. Whoa, I've been going for 36 minutes? That's unacceptable. Way too long. I need to end this episode up. Right here and right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we will be picking up in the exact same spot where we're leaving off here. In fact, I'm actually just going to stop the recording and then start it right back up for the next episode. Literally. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.